OpenAI recently released GPT-40 and it can blush. The reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> While everyone is talking about Western AI advancement, China is quietly and rapidly positioning itself to dominate the robotics market. For example, Unitree Robotics has introduced the G1, a compact and affordable humanoid robot priced at $16,000. This new model is significantly cheaper than its predecessor, the H1, which cost over $150,000. It utilizes imitation and reinforcement learning, making it adaptable to various tasks. But there is more to it which we will discuss later. China does not yet appear to be leading in robotic innovation, but its domestic production and adoption are growing rapidly, and the Chinese government has prioritized the industry. It is likely only a matter of time before Chinese robotics companies catch up to the leading edge. In the past three years, there has been a surge in Chinese robotics companies entering the global market. Even Chinese electronics company Xiaomi, which is also now a car manufacturer, introduced its own humanoid robot Cyber One as a competition to Western robots. One key driver behind this rise is the substantial backing from the Chinese government. The latest five-year plan for robotics aims to position China as a global leader in robotic innovation by 2025, emphasizing increased production and adoption, improved supply chains, and industry standardization. China's domestic market for robotics is already the largest in the world, accounting for 52% of global industrial robot installations in 2022. Companies such as DJI, Uptech Robotics, and Siasun Robot are leading this charge. DJI has revolutionized the drone industry with advanced consumer and commercial drones, while Uptech specializes in humanoid robots with AI capabilities and Siasun focuses on industrial automation. Robotics is not something new for China. It has been using robots in industries for several decades. In 2016, sales of industrial robots in China reached 87,000 units, accounting for around 30% of the global market. To put this number in perspective, robot sales in all of Europe and the Americas in 2016 reached 97,300 units according to data from the International Federation of Robotics. But what changed is its will for global expansion. Nowadays, you can see several Chinese companies introducing their new robots to the world and willing to provide services all over the world. Consider the Chinese company Astrobot's latest creation. The S1 model is turning heads with its astonishing speed and precision. The S1's capabilities are not just impressive, they're record-setting. The robot's dexterity is showcased in a video where it performs tasks with such finesse that it can delicately shave a cucumber. It can even engage in the art of calligraphy. That's not all. It can also open and pour wine and flip a sandwich in a frying pan. And for those who hate ironing and folding laundry, the S1 does that too. The S1's ability to mimic human movements sets it apart from other robots. This robot is a learner, an imitator, and a potential pioneer in robotics. Founded in 2022 in Shenzhen and is expected to hit the market later in 2024. China is not only developing robots for general purposes. During military drills with Cambodia, China's military showed off a robot dog with an automatic rifle mounted on its back, essentially turning man's best electronic friend into a killing machine. The video made during the China-Cambodia Golden Dragon 2024 exercise also shows the robot dog walking, hopping, lying down and moving backwards under the control of a remote operator. But as I said, there's more to it. China might be developing and deploying the robots at a faster rate, but the intelligence of these robots are not high. There are exceptions like S1, but if you consider G1, it's like a research robot rather than a fully functional humanoid robot. Tester's Optimus training every day to become good at almost every task that can be done by humans, be it folding cloths or walking like humans. Chinese products are known for low quality and dangerous incidents, such as Xiaomi's SU7 electric car, which had several design flaws and some Chinese caught fire. And Elon Musk said that he is building robots to make it available for everyone, and the price could be in the range of $10,000 to $20,000, which can be a serious competition to all humanoid robot manufacturers. The advantage of Chinese robots is that they can have huge amount of data by actually working in real environment rather than in controlled environment or in simulation. 
robotics and software companies observe this and developing platforms to train and deploy robots. For example, NVIDIA announced Project Groot, a general-purpose foundation model for humanoid robots designed to further its work driving breakthroughs in robotics and embodied AI. Robots powered by Groot will be designed to understand natural language and emulate movements by observing human actions, quickie learning coordination, dexterity, and other skills in order to navigate, adapt, and interact with the real world. Robotics firms like Boston Dynamics, Tesla, and Figure are extensively training their robots to near perfect do when they are deployed in the real world, so they won't mess up. Overall, the competition is heating up every day with introduction of new robotics companies and their new models. The China's plans for future are huge and heavily supported by government. Even US is dedicating funds for research and development of robots. So what do you think? Will China lead the robotics industry? Let me know your thoughts in comment section. Thank you for watching. See you soon.